Hey guys, it's Megan. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how I made these super cute headphone covers for my Beats Studio 3 headphones. And if you don't have these specific headphones, don't worry, because I'll also be showing you how you can modify this for pretty much any type of headphone that's not the AirPod Maxes. I've been seeing these all winter and I just think that they're the cutest thing, but I could not justify spending $500 on new headphones just to like crochet some little covers for them. Especially when like my Beats headphones, they work perfectly fine. Now, full disclosure, this is my first time doing a crochet video ever. I feel like whenever I crochet, I only really follow other people's patterns, but I couldn't find a pattern for these specific headphones anywhere. I just was so impressed that I actually made my own pattern and I just like had to share it with you guys. If you kind of already know how to crochet and you prefer a written pattern, I will have a link to my website with the written pattern. Oh, also, if you like my earrings or my necklace, I have a video on them. So um, it'll be linked below as well. For this project, you'll need a four millimeter crochet hook, some worsted weight yarn, a yarn needle, and some elastic bracelet cord. So to make the main part of the headphone covers, I'm gonna take my white yarn and I'm just going to wrap it around my first two fingers like this. And this is gonna create a magic circle. So now what you wanna do is take a four millimeter hook and grab your yarn just like this and carefully remove the yarn from your fingers. And that is our magic circle. For row one, chain one, then half double crochet 10 into the circle. To half double crochet, you just wrap your yarn around, bring it into the circle, pull the loop up like that so that you have three loops on your hook, wrap it around again, bring it through all three loops, and that is your first half double crochet. So we're going to want to do this 10 times in total. So that was one, two. Now that we've done 10 half double crochets, I'm just going to pull this loop to close the circle. And to close the loop, go ahead and find that first stitch, insert your hook, and bring your yarn through. And that is a slip stitch. Now for row two, you're just gonna wanna chain one. And in row two, we're gonna half double crochet increase in each stitch around. So that just means we're gonna do two half double crochets in every single stitch. And once you get to the end, you should have 20 stitches around. As you can see, here's that first stitch. I'm just gonna do one, and two right in that same stitch. And I'm going to repeat this the whole way around. Once you've done 20 stitches the whole way around, we're going to end this row with a slip stitch, just like we did before. So find that first stitch, insert your hook, and bring the yarn through. Now for row three, we're going to chain one, and we're going to increase in each stitch around again. So this time when you're done, you're going to have 40 stitches all together. So we start right here, we just do one, two, and just repeat this the whole way around the circle. And once you reach the end, again, same thing, we're just gonna slip stitch in the top of that first chain. All right, so if you're trying to modify this for headphones that aren't the Beats, what you're gonna wanna do is when you get to row three, you're going to want to measure it up against your headphones. And once it's as big as this outside circle, then you're gonna wanna skip to row seven. If it's not big enough, just move on to row four and keep checking it, check it row four, check it row five, check it row six. And if it's big enough on any of those rows, then again, you're gonna wanna skip to row seven. For row four, all you're gonna do is just chain one and do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So you just And I'm just gonna repeat this the whole way around. So that's one. Two. And again, to close the row, you're just gonna insert your hook under that first stitch and just do a slip stitch. For row five, we're just gonna repeat row four. So again, I just chain one and half double crochet into that first stitch one time. 
and do this the whole way around, just doing one half double crochet in each stitch around. And in the end, you should still have 40 stitches. Okay, so again, now that we've done 40 stitches, we're just going to insert our hook under that first chain and do a slip stitch. So now, as you can see, it's kind of starting to curve in and that is what we want. So now for row six, we're just going to chain one. And again, super simple, just half double crochet in each stitch around. This project is super easy for beginners. And again, once you get to the end of the row, insert your hook under the first stitch and slip stitch it together. All right, so row seven is gonna be a little bit different. So to start this row, we're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna skip this first stitch, but in the second stitch, we're just going to do another half double crochet. So again, you make sure to skip the first stitch. and half double crochet. Now I'm just gonna half double crochet the whole way down the chain so that I have four half double crochets in total. So that was one, two, three, and four. So now that we have this little piece that kind of hangs off like that, all we're gonna do is half double crochet in each stitch just like we've been doing. So we start here, except this time we're gonna leave this stitch open. All right, so now that we've reached the end of the row, as you can see, this last stitch, we're going to keep this open. Now for row eight, we're just going to chain one, turn our work, and then we're just gonna half double crochet one time in every single stitch around. For row nine, again, we're just going to chain one, and just like we've been doing before, just do one half double crochet stitch in every single stitch around. Once you get to the end of row nine, you can just cut off the end of your yarn, and to finish it off, I just pull it through just like that. And now the base is done, we can just go ahead and make sure that it fits. So the idea is that this little flat part, it gets wrapped around here, and then the rest of it covers the headphones. Personally, I like to weave in the ends as I go so that I don't have a bunch of them to do at the end. For the other one, I just kind of wove it through here a little bit. And in the middle, just make sure that that is pulled in nice and tight, and weave that one in as well. And that is your basic headphone cover. Now you could definitely leave these plain, but I decided to make a little heart to go on mine. Honestly, I don't really love how I did these. I used a K hook so that it would be a little bit bigger and I just did a basic heart. I'll put the pattern on the screen in case you wanna copy it, but I think next time I'd stick with the four millimeter hook and do a heart with two rounds instead. So I'm just gonna link you guys to another tutorial in the description. But after I made the heart, I left a long tail at the end of the yarn so that I could sew it onto my headphone covers. To make sure that these actually stay on your headphones, you're gonna wanna take a piece of elastic. I'm just using this one millimeter bracelet cord. All you're gonna wanna do is put the elastic through your yarn needle like that. And then we're just gonna weave that through this outer edge. You're just gonna start about there. And leave a little bit of a tail so that you can tie it when you're done. And you're just gonna go in and out of each of these stitches on the outer edge. So you are gonna have like a little row of stitches around the edge. You can definitely cut your elastic a little bit longer if you wanna make it a little easier to weave through, but that is up to you. Here is what the edge looks like once that elastic's all weaved through. Now I'm just gonna sew the heart onto the headphone cover. What I like to do is actually put this onto the headphones first and then put the heart on top so I can kind of see like where I want it. Basically, I'm just gonna be sewing around the edge of this heart so that it lays flat. And here's what it looks like. Um, I'm sorry, it kind of looks like a boob, but that's fine. Um, okay, so <laughs> like I said, it just goes onto your headphones like this. And these are completely removable, by the way. This part, it'll wrap around like that. 
I'm just going to adjust this the best that I can and tie these strings in a knot. Obviously, if you want these to be removable, you don't want to tie it like too tight. After you tie the knot, you have two options. Option number one, you can just tuck the strings underneath, which is definitely the easiest option. And that'll also make these easier to remove. Or the second option would be to put the elastic through your yarn needle and weave it in this little section to make it look a little bit cleaner. If you decide to do that, you can just tie another knot right here to secure it. Then you can just tuck the ends in. And when you're done, you'll have something like that. I just put the other one on and then I was done. I love these, they're so cute. To charge them, you can just kind of slip it off. It's really not a big deal. They stay on though, like it's not like they're gonna be falling off. I know another girl that did these for the Normal Beats headphones said they kept falling off, but I haven't had an issue. I've been using these on here for like a week. So if you do it this way, I feel like you'll be fine. And something that's kind of cool about these is that it kind of helps with the noise cancellation. Um, It makes that a little bit better. So if that's like a feature that you're looking for, definitely recommend doing this. If you made it this far, comment down below what color you think I should do next. Um. I don't know, from the front, I feel like it looks weird. Like, I feel like gray would have been a better choice. Maybe that'll be the next one that I do. <laughs> and yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye.